All right, and we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to talk about Bryce Young uh, of the Carolina Panthers. Just some comments that he made about his rookie season. And, yeah, it was a rough one for him. And, you know, the Panthers, you know, they did a lot to draft him. You know, they gave up a lot of draft capital. They gave up DJ Moore, you know, to get him. And, yeah, it was it was a rough rookie season. It was. And the Panthers only won two games. And one of those games, they beat C.J. Stroud. Like, I, I, I know, I think I brought this up yesterday. I just still can't wrap my head around the fact that they beat C.J. Stroud in the Texans. But that did happen. And he's looking to bounce. Bryce Young is looking to bounce back. And, that's, and the Texans, they lucked out, you know, getting C.J. Stroud because look at how he is. And, you know, the Texans, you know, they won a division title, and now they got these bigger expectations. So, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's like the complete opposite over in Houston compared to what it's like in Carolina at the moment. But um, this is uh, this is what he had to say. Um, you know, I will actually – so this is a quote from his father talking about his – you know, he said the rookie season was awful. Um, yeah, he just, his father described the ESPN as awful. Um, but yeah, this is what Bryce Young had to say. Uh, it's helped me through my whole life. Uh, this is this is because he graduated with a degree in psychology from the University of Alabama, and from that, he's ta- he talked about how you know it's helped me through my whole life. Um, the good, the bad, and different, making sure that myself internally, I'm okay. Luckily, I'm very conscious of that my whole life, so I've had a lot of practice uh, compartmentalizing things and trying to have healthy habits. Um, talked about the offense. Uh, it's constructive. If you miss something or do something wrong, it gives you something tangible to say, let's get our base in order. It's something you could think about and apply. It's been really good for me. Um, and then also you had, you know, Andy Dalton, who's the backup quarterback to Bryce Young. Uh, so he said, uh, as my camera's kind of acting up here, so we're just going to have to do a quick little uh, camera fix here. Uh, we were doing pretty well, but, you know, it just decides to, uh, decides to act up. I'll read the Andy Dalton quote once I you know, fix the, uh, the camera issue here. You know, fortunate that I have a backup camera because if I didn't, uh, you know, I, you'd be looking at a a blank screen, but of course now when I'm trying to fix it, it doesn't want to work, but that's all right. Um, so, okay. Yeah, we're all good to go. All right. So anyways, Andy Dalton, backup quarterback for the Panthers now, uh, he said it's instilling confidence in him, knowing that he's giving him the keys to this offense. We're going to see Bryce do things he didn't do last year just because of the experience. We're already seeing it right now. Um, and then Bryce Young, uh, the final quote here in the article that I have, I'm far from perfect. We all have our struggles and things, and we have our good and bad days, but it's like any season, it's important during a time when there's a lot going on and a lot of stressful situations, knowing that's a time to make sure I really don't lose sight of things mentally so it seems like he is in a better place than he was last year which you know is encouraging um and the Panthers they did go out and they made moves to try to you know improve this team and and, you know put Bryce Young in a better situation for him to be successful and you know they they went out and tried to improve this offensive line they got him weapons. They drafted a receiver. They traded for Deontay Johnson. So um, they also drafted a running back. So I think Bryce Young will have a better season. And Dave Canales did really well with Baker Mayfield last year. So maybe that will help Bryce Young as well. And yeah, I mean, he went through a lot. I mean, you had, you know, Frank Reich didn't even make it through the season. It just uh, the 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 Panther season was a mess, and, and you kind of want to just throw that out the window. Um, and you know, if he's better protected, 
and now you have better weapons in there. I mean, I think he should theoretically have a better season. Now, I don't know how much better um, because I still don't look at the Panthers as being a very good football team. But, again, they could surprise you. And it's kind of funny because before the season started last year, you know, I just took a look at the the NFC South and I was like, you know, why can't the – I'm like, why can't the Panthers win the division? You know, because, you know, the Falcons with their question marks at quarterback and, you know, the, the Bucks with, you know, no more Tom Brady. I didn't know how Baker Mayfield was going to be. I didn't know how the Saints were going to be with Derek Carr. I was like, you know what, maybe the Panthers, maybe they got a shot. But thankfully I didn't, like, you know, put any money or anything on it. I didn't guarantee anything because the season played out. And I was like, wow, the Panthers are just not good. And now we'll see how they are in 2024. And the division, even with some of the changes, like now Kirk Cousins is the quarterback for the Falcons, who we talked about earlier. Um, you know, I, I mean, this division's not impossible. Anybody can win that division. Now, I don't know how much better the Panthers are going to... I mean, I, I still had the Panthers winning about two games. I just don't think they're going to be very good. But I could be wrong. And they surprise some people. I mean, they do. I think they do open up against the Saints. You know, so maybe they they have a better showing than they did last year in New Orleans when they really just, you know, did not play well there. But well, they didn't play well really all year. So um, they did beat the Falcons last year. So they went they went one and five in the division last year. But yeah, it, it's uh, you know, the, the, with Bryce Young. You know, people have their complaints, his size. It's just, people are going to have their doubts. And, you know, for Bryce Young, yeah, not every rookie season is going to go the way you hope. Um, I mean, you go back to, you know, Peyton Manning's rookie season. It wasn't great. And then look how he turned out. Now, is Bryce Young going to turn out like Peyton Manning? Probably not. But can he go out there and have a better year too? Yeah. And you look at a team, uh, you know, in the other conference, the Titans. You know, Will Levis had a good debut, but it was kind of hit or miss after that. What did the Titans go out and do? They drafted a tackle. They added more weapons to the to the offense. They're they are investing in him. And they're seeing if he can actually, you know, be the guy with more talent around him. And that's what the Panthers are doing. Now, I think I, I, I think the Titans offense is, right now on paper is probably a little bit better than the Panthers. Um, you know, I like their receiving core better than the Panthers. Uh, the running back room, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I know for the Panthers, Miles Sanders was awful. Last year, that was not a good signing. But, you know, we'll see. I, I mean, the, the, the Panthers and the Titans, they did invest in their young quarterbacks. And we'll see if they improve in year two. I mean, I want to see. I mean, Will Levis at least had, you know. I mean, and Bryce Young had some good games, too. Um, I know against, the, I mean, the Packers defense was awful against them. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see, though. But, um yeah, and I think also having a veteran like Andy Dalton to back him up, I think that's good for him as well. Um, you know, a guy that could just kind of help, you know, bring him along. And, and hopefully he has, a be like I said, hopefully he has a better year too. That That's really all we can hope for is that, you know, he does have a better year too. He has a better year because if, I mean, if he goes out there and he plays bad, bad again, I mean, it's uh, that is not a good look for the Panthers because they really they gave up a lot to get him, and like I said before, you see how C.J. Stroud is playing was playing over in Houston, like you could have had him, but then again, C.J. Stroud gets drafted by the Panthers. What kind of season does he have last year? I don't know. Only time will tell. But yeah, it right now. Panthers, uh, they're hoping they didn't make a mistake. 
I think they still believe it. They they still well, yeah. I mean, they still believe in Bryce Young. Um, you know, it was kind of a mess because you were changing head coaches. It just yeah, it it was a mess. So hopefully the improvements they made, the coaching change, hopefully that all pans out and Bryce Young goes out there and he has a good season and you could throw away that rookie year. But it's going to be hard to forget about it. So, but that's pretty much my thoughts on Bryce Young. Let me know what you guys think about what he had to say. Uh, does he have a bounce back season or... You know, is he not the guy in Carolina? Um, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, that is pretty much it for the show for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to check out all the other shows, like I always say. Um, I did f fail to mention that the NBA Finals did conclude. The Celtics won it in five games, which I, even though the Mavericks blew them out in game four, we kind of knew that, you know, the Celtics were still going to win it. Uh, we were hoping for um, some more drama. Also, um, the great Willie Mays passed away. Uh, baseball news, some sad news on that front. You know, one of the greatest players of all time. So just wanted to pay a little bit of respect for him. Uh, my heart goes out to him, well, his family. Uh, yeah, just a sad day uh, in the baseball community there. So I'm sure uh, Sam will talk about that on his show. Um, and then you got the Stanley cup, which is, again, I, 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 it's hard to transition from something like that and then go into something else. But, uh, with the Stanley cup, uh, the Oilers did win last night. So now it's a three, two series. So, uh, you know, now they're going back to, uh, Edmonton. So yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be, uh, that, that's, that's going to be an interesting game six. Um, so we'll see if the Oilers can tie the series up when we go to a Game 7. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, at least we're getting something out of that championship series because, I mean, the finals was a snooze fest. But, yeah, you know, make sure to check out everybody's shows, get their thoughts on all that stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, with that, that is all the time that we have for today. Once again, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back again tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And until then, I'm Kenneth Grunfelder signing off from the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Have a good day, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.